Hello, my name is Howard Trenham and I'm the global lead for Dun & Bradstreet's trade payment data customer support team. Today, I'd like to welcome you to Dun & Bradstreet's global trade payment program tutorial sessions. The aim of these sessions is to ensure that participants get the most from the data insight we provide free of charge in return for participation in the program. In today's session, we'll look at two use cases suggested by our partners that have proven to help reduce DSO. So firstly, let's have a look at the Payment Performance Insight Solution, or PPI, which all our partners have free access to. This use case concentrates on streamlining your collections efforts based on comparing how your customers are paying others in comparison to yourself. The comparative data provided in PPI is one of the most valuable data sets the trade program offers. This information is unique to PPI and is only available to our trade participants. OK, let's get started. When you log into PPI, you will land on our dashboard page, giving summary information of your ledger. For this use case, we are looking at an account level detail. So we will need to enter the accounts list section on the left hand side of your screen. This section of the solution shows a list of all of your accounts and the details of their current payment behaviours to you and to others. The list displays company name, customer name that is, the date that you last reported data on them, your account ID for the customer, the highest balance to owed over the last 12 months, the total amount owing and the total of current or prompt and the total overdue currently to you. Then you have the payment manner, so the split of the payment across different periods, the days beyond terms to you, the days beyond terms to others. We then calculate the DBT days beyond terms differential. So how your customers are paying you compared to others. And it is this area that I would like to concentrate our efforts today. What I'd like to demonstrate is how we can refine this list using the payment comparison data to highlight overdue customers that are paying other suppliers significantly faster than you. By doing this, you will be able to create a focus list based on improved intelligence, where you are more likely to get reward for your efforts allowing you to make the most of the collections resources available to you. So firstly, I'll put it to 12 months, which will show all of the accounts and all of the detail, and then click on filter. The filter function acts like a report wizard for the data we make available in the solution. So you're able to interrogate the data elements we provide according to your individual need. In my experience, most partners would like to firstly filter by accounts that we would actively chase on the amount overdue. So if we click on the total overdue, because we want to look at debt that is beyond terms, so in the drop down here, total overdue. And then in this example, I will like to enter 10,000 pounds or more which would be the accounts that your team would become engaged in chasing. And we need to filter on the payment differential or days beyond terms differential. This is looking at how your customers are paying the other suppliers compared to you and will allow you to create the focused areas for your collections team to concentrate on. And this is where they are most likely to get reward. So if we click on add filter, DBT differential, greater than or equal to 60 days in this example. So now click the filter button and your results of the request have been applied. So now you are looking at a report displaying all of your accounts where the total overdue balance is 10,000 pounds or more and are paying you 60 days or more slower than their other suppliers. Partners have highlighted this as a useful function for making sure their efforts are focused on areas where they are most likely to get maximum reward and has been a useful driver for improving collection strategies and aiding DSO reduction. The system will obviously let you download any of the list you create 
into an Excel format, which will then allow you to further interrogate all of the data elements we provide, or indeed you could in integrate your own data sets according to your needs. Okay, so that's the first use case. The second use case we're going to look at today, um, I'd like to discuss our trade payment labels, which are licensed for use to all of our partners free of charge. The labels simply state that you are sharing payment data with Dun & Bradstreet. Partners have told us that by using the label on their invoices or statement reminders, they have seen an improvement in their collections. A few years ago, we decided to carry out a test to demonstrate the efficacy of applying these labels. One of our partners agreed to split their ledger of 400,000 customers randomly in half and then calculate the DSO on both halves of the ledger. Then for a three month period, one half of the ledger had labels applied to their invoices while the other half remained as they were. At the end of the three month period, we reassessed the DSO on both halves of the ledger. Our findings were that the side of the ledger that had labels attached showed an improvement in their DSO of two days. This is a strong indication that rightly or wrongly, if your customers value their credit scores, they will prioritize an invoice that includes our trade payment label. This represents a simple and effective tool for speeding up customer payments, which is easy for you to deploy at a very low cost. So today we have highlighted two of the many use cases available to our partners. I'd like to thank you for your time and continued support of the Dun & Bradstreet Global Trade Payment Programme. If you'd like to find out more information on the benefits available to our trade partners, please contact me on trenumh at dmb.com. Thank you and goodbye for now.